In this video, we'll be creating a form that will allow us to create a new account and multiple contacts on Salesforce. So to get started, on your formula dashboard, click the new form button. Now we need to rename our form. We'll call it account with contacts. And we'll click confirm. And we'll need to create at least one page for this form. So you can create any number of pages and create this form as a wizard, but we'll just need one page. So I'll call it details. And click the plus to add the page. And first, for the account record, we will need a, a text field for the account name. So I'll drag and drop a text field on our form. And let's rename this to account name. I will make this required because the account will require a name. And next what we need to do, we need to add a new repeat group. So repeat groups allow you to create any number of records in Salesforce based on the information that's captured on the form. So you can create as many entries as you need. And we'll call this label uh, contact so that when somebody is adding the repeat group entries and we'll say add contact. And let's confirm this. Now we need to drag and drop a few fields in our repeat group. So we'll drag two text fields and one email field. And let's rename them. Let's call this the contact first name. And we'll add the last name. Let's make this required because it's a required field on Salesforce. And let's rename this to email. This will be the contacts email. And click confirm. Now when this is done, let's save and close. You can add any number of additional fields. Let's say you want to record the account industry or the phone number or address. You can add those fields on, the, uh, on this form as well. And let's save and close. Now when the form is created, we can see our form on the dashboard. Uh, under the connections column, we need to add a new connection. So let's do that. Let's click add. On the connections list screen, what we need to do, we need to select Salesforce and we need to create a new connection. So we will need to create two connections. One of them will be for the new account record that we'll be creating in Salesforce. And the other one will be for the new contact records that will be created in Salesforce as well. So let's start with the account connection. So select Salesforce and click create connection. When you click create connection, it will create a new connection for you and we need to link our account and contacts form to uh, the object we'll be creating in Salesforce. So we need to select um, account as the first one. So let's select account and save. On the next screen, we need to update some settings to make sure that the account is created before the contacts. So we'll make sure that we can use the new account information for the subsequent contact records that will be created in Salesforce. So the insert sequence will be one. And let's click save to save this setting. Now the next step is to add a mapping. So we'll take our account name formula field and we'll map it to the account name on Salesforce and click create. So every time a new entry is created um, using the formula mobile app, we will take the account name from the form and we'll populate the account name on Salesforce when we're creating a new account record. So when this is done, we can go back to the connections. And now we need to create the second connection for the contacts that will be created using the repeat group. So again, we select Salesforce from um, the list of connections and click create connection. Now we'll link our form to the contact object and click save. Now the insert sequence will be two because we want to create the contacts after the account record has been created on Salesforce. So we can use the account ID to populate the contact account ID on Salesforce. And we'll have to indicate on the Salesforce record settings to use a repeat group from our form. So it will be the contact 
repeat group. So make the selection here and click Save. Now we need to do the mappings. For the account ID on the contact, we'll be using the new account that will be created um, using the first connection on Formula. So the connection we just created before this one, we will use the newly created records ID to populate the account ID for the contact connection. And click to create the map. And now we need to map the other fields from our repeat group for the contact. So we'll map the first name to first name, last name to last name, and email to email. So now that we've created all our mappings, we can go back to the connections and then back to the dashboard. So we've created all the required connections to Salesforce and now we can click the try button to launch our mobile web application and scroll down to find our accounts with contacts form. And now we can fill in the form. So I'll provide account name. And now we can create any number of contacts. So let's create two contacts. And by clicking the Add button, you'll be able to add a new repeat group entry. So we'll click Add. And we'll add another one. When done, click Add, and now we can see both of the contacts we've added on our formula form. And when you're done, click Submit to submit the form. We can see the new entry on the mobile app, and we can see the contacts here. And now if we jump to Salesforce and refresh the page, we can see the newly account that's been created on Salesforce. And if we scroll down to the contact related list, we can see that we've created these two contacts that we've submitted on the formula form in Salesforce. If you have any questions, please email support at formula.com. Thank you.